Okay, um, what we're looking at now is your everyday IP address. Uh, I just picked this one at random, 192.16.254.129. Uh, this is going to be the example that I'll be using through most of this uh, video. Um, and this is the default subnet mask for uh, 192, which is a class C address, which we'll get into later. Um, the subnet mask for that is 255.255.255.0. Uh, this is a slash method. It's uh, just a lot quicker than writing out the 255, 255 every time. Uh, we have the same IP address as you see up here. Um, but instead of writing out the 255 three times, uh, we just write 24. Uh, I'll explain how that works a little bit later on. Um, but these are just a different uh, ways you'll see IP address and submit mask and everything written out. Okay. Um, like I said before, 192 is a class C address. Um, here are your different addresses that you'll deal with mostly. Uh, there's also some more uh, going up a little high, but these are the ones you'll mostly deal with with CCNA and subnetting uh, to begin with. Um, your class A's are 0 1 through 127, which encompasses everything from 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 127.255.255.0. Um, as you notice, everything's been divided up into four different sections. These are also known as octets. Um, because, and we'll get into that. They're called octets because they have eight bits in each one. Okay. Um, class B address 128 through 191. Once again, this encompasses 128.000 through 191.255.255.255. Uh, we'll get into, and I'll explain exactly uh, why we start at zero, which will make sense to most of you. Uh, most people are used to starting at zero. Um, but the 255 uh, is pretty much the max uh, that you can get with eight bits uh, in binary. I'll explain that in just a minute. Uh, class C addresses range from 192 to 223, once again, uh, encompassing 192 000 to 223 uh, with 255. Uh, three times, and then your class D address is 224 through 239. Uh, same thing. Now here you have the default subnet mask. Uh, each one of these uh, has its own default subnet mask. Uh, A class is 255.000. Uh, Bravo class has 255.255. Uh, double O, and then C, like I said earlier, has uh, three two five files followed by zero. And then uh, your D class only has just, it's all maxed out with uh, four 255s. So it's divided into four octets, as I was saying earlier. An octet is eight bits, uh, therefore each address is 32 bits. You've got four sections divided into uh, eight bits, four times eight is 32. Um, each octet can range uh, from zero to 255, so each one of these numbers, as you can see, can be any number in between 0 and 255. Um, network addresses are reserved as all zeros. Uh, this will be important later on in uh, actual subnetting. Um, this is what you would be using for your network address. Uh, therefore, you cannot assign it to an actual host, your individual computer. Um, this is what's known as a broadcast address. 255 is a broadcast address. Whereas uh, zero is the network address, uh, pretty much all ones maxed out. Uh, this also cannot be used as a host address because it's used for broadcasting. Okay, uh, subnet mask count continuous ones from left to right. Uh, the subnet mask defines what portion of the IP address is used to uh, show the computer what the network is and what the host is. Uh, whichever portion of the IP address is not used for the network is used for the host, um, which is shown by zeros in the subnet mask. Um, you will never see a subnet mask that has um, a zero and then one and then a zero and then a one. Uh, it'll pretty much be uh, all ones from left to right. Here's a class C default subnet mask. Uh, what we were talking about earlier, um, 
as you see, you've got your eight ones, your 255, and then your zero, which is your eight zeros. Um, starting from left to right, you count the ones you will get that there's 24. Um, since it's an octet, all you have to keep in mind is 255 uh, is eight one, so it's all one. So you can just say this is eight, this is eight, which is 16, this is eight, which is 24. This is zero, so it's still 24. Um, that's where you get your 24 and the slash IP configuration I was showing you earlier. Um, keeping in mind that 255 is an octet of all ones or eight ones. So 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, so here we have the IP address of 192.16.254.129, our example again with its default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 uh, written in our slash form of slash 24, which we now know is due to the um, 3255 we have here, which is the same as 24, 1, and 8 zeros for our default subnet mask. Um, subnet mask is what is used to once again, define the network bits and the host bits. What you would have is your uh, 24 bits would be dedicated to the network and the remaining eight bits, since there are 32 bits total in IP address, uh, we subtract the 24 from the 32 and it gives us eight bits remaining uh, to define the host bits. Uh, so the way it works is <coughs> each one of these bits correlates to a bit above it in the same octet. Uh, this bit, this bit, these all correlate to each other. So once you get to the last one here in the subnet mask, um, that is the end of the network. So everything to the left, which is above a one, correlates to the network. Uh, anything above the zeros is belongs to the hosts. Okay? Um, just to flip this around so that you can see a little more closely, uh, here's the binary for 255. I just flipped the binary bit on top uh, to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so here we go. Uh, each one of these bits correlates directly above with these bits, and you will get um, this portion of the address correlating with uh, this portion of the subnet mask. Uh, so each one of these it means that each one of these bits represents the network. So the network for this would be 192.16.254.0 because your IP address for, uh, concerning your network stops here. Uh, so this becomes all zeros. Um, and then once you're actually referencing the individual host, this whole thing will represent the host. Uh, specifically, the host will be the last eight bits. So in order to define the host on the network, you get 192.16.254.129 would be the host on the 192.16.254.0 network. 